Snohomish County is being hit hard by the opioid crisis. In a three-year period, the number of people who overdosed and died surpassed the state average. That is according to federal data. Fox 13's Frankie Thompson explains how police are addressing the drug crisis on a local level. Frankie? Everett Police Department has conducted more than 40 emphasis patrols this month on a variety of public safety issues. Just yesterday, officers arrested several people in a high crime area for open drug possession and use. Casino Road and Evergreen Way. An intersection in Everett with a high volume of complaints for theft, trespassing, and public drug use. Police Chief Dan Templeman says most of the criminal activity here is fueled by fentanyl use. You know, what we're seeing on our streets today is unlike anything that I've seen in the 31 years that I've been involved in law enforcement. He says majority of the people arrested during the city's latest emphasis patrol were publicly using illegal drugs. The city of Everett and the state of Washington recently passed new laws surrounding openly using and possessing drugs. But with a crisis this big, Templeman says officers can't arrest their way out of the fentanyl problem. Uh, if, if the community is looking just to law enforcement to solve the, the fentanyl crisis that we're experiencing right now, um, I don't think we're going to see the level of success that we can as a community. In an urgent request for help from the Washington Attorney General's office, Bob Ferguson asked the U.S. Attorney General to include Everett, Yakima, and Spokane in a federal initiative combating drug-related violence and overdose. It's called Operation Overdrive, where the federal agency uses crime and health statistics to identify criminal drug-related hotspots, then devotes federal resources to reduce activity harmful to the community. There's any additional resources that we can lean on to address this crisis, we're going to accept those, right? Um, obviously, we want to know more about what that initiative involves and what it entails and the, and, and the resources that are going to be necessary at the local level to help support that. Support would not stop there. The Snohomish County Executive just announced new near-term strategies to address the drug crisis. This includes a mobile opioid treatment program to administer federally approved medications, substance use, and behavioral health therapies. I think that'd be fantastic. Nurse I mean, practitioner IPEC Dolls with Ideal Option, an addiction recovery clinic, says the county's plan helps meet people where they're at because not everyone has access to clinical treatment. On average, we have scheduled anywhere from 60 to 70 patients a day. Now, that doesn't mean they all show up, and it's hard for them to show up. Um, I would say a good 20 patients every day do not show up to their appointments, and that's either because they are homeless, they don't have means of transportation, they just don't have those resources to make it. And their environment that they're continuously in, it, it sucks them in. Today's announcement of the drug crisis strategies is part of an aggressive timeline developing and implementing resources in Snohomish County. Reporting in Everett, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.